Hey, welcome to another episode of Rants, Reviews, and Randomness. I'm Mel Hall. And I'm Candace Thompson. And today we're talking about shoes. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds boring what? as f <laughs> Candace and I were talking the other day about how many shoes we own. And I own a lot of shoes for a straight man. I have over 60 pairs of shoes. I, ha I don't have that many. So they're not all brand new shoes. So it's old shoes that we hang on to and we don't throw them away because... For whatever reason. Good luck shoes. Maybe they are sentimental. Mm -hmm. Maybe you think you're going to wear them again one day. Everybody has a pair of shoes and they're like, you never know. I might have yard work. And you live in an apartment. Right. I got no yard. <laughs> yeah. Those were the shoes I was wearing the first time I had sex. Well, I can't throw those away. Why were your shoes on while you were having sex? So we decided to bring a couple of pairs of shoes, talk about why we have them, and then throw them away. <gasps> you didn't tell me that part. No, we're throwing them away on camera. I brought two pairs of dunks. I own about 50 pairs of just this style. Nike dunks. Get the size lows, profile. SBs or um, regular ones if you want to send me a pair size 12, you guys. That's what I wear. You never know when you're going to go to a St. Patrick's Day party. These are white and green. And then these you were... You can smell them from here, too, just FYI. You worked at Nike? Work? Yeah. The Nike store? Yeah, I worked at a Nike store. I worked at a Lady Foot Locker. Did you? I did. In high school. Don't ask the year. I can't disclose was... that information. Okay. Your I was a was... salesperson. I sold shoes. Upsell shoe cleaner? Oh, absolutely. You know, no, the, not the cleaner. We had to upsell the leather protector. <laughs> You're the person at the Foot Locker where I'm like, so what are the features on these shoes? Can't you see? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm looking. I'm looking for like a pair of basketball shoes. Like, I don't know. Then they probably make you jump higher. But these ones make me jump higher. Sure. You don't sound like you know what you're talking about. You don't sound like you know what you're looking for. And see. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what. But I also, would you like the leather protector? <laughs> like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'm looking at the shoes that you're gonna show everybody, and this is a sad thing. Have you you've worn these out in public recently? What what do you consider recently? In the last six months. No. Year. Maybe. Even that's too soon. Show everybody these beat up. I'll show the bad one. I'll show the good one. Show the good one. I'll show the good. This is the good one. These are uh, Cole Haan. You got the patent leather with the what is that like a burlap? <laughs> what kind of fabric is that on the, sh the This heel? looks like something that you would see um, wrapped around an olive oil bottle or something like that. That's happening on the good one, all right? Can you see that? Then that's the good one. Now, this is the bad one, and this one, you guys, don't judge me. Walk up there and show them. The sole is completely, like, it's the only reason why it's not being able to being pulled down all the way is because I put double sided tape. No, I'm a n <laughs> <laughs> Now the day you decided like, oh, I could still use these. I'll just put double sided tape. No, I'll tell you what happened is I was out and the sole came off. <laughs> 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 I had already made a conscious decision to wear these to rock these, which was risky because this was already happening on this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was already risky, but right. that's what I do. I'm a risk right. taker, right. right? So I went out in public and then I tripped. That's Did you why. trip and then look back for something? In one of those trips where you just didn't lift your foot up high enough. Right. <laughs> and so you were like, my bad. Yeah, I tried to play it off and did one of these. <laughs> Are these too far gone? Because I want to go take them to a repair. <laughs> Is it too embarrassing? Is I it... think if you walked into a cobbler's shop with those, Geppetto would be like, leave immediately. Get the <laughs> out of my store. Well, wait, are they still called cobblers? Yes, that's what a, th that's what a shoe person that picks shoes is called. A cobbler? Yes. How come we got pies and people that fix shoes and they're both called cobblers. That doesn't make sense. Because nobody gets their shoes fixed anymore, so no one cares about the cobbler. I just call him the shoe repair man. All right, so we're gonna throw these shoes away, but we wanna see your old ass shoes too that you're just holding on to. Hopefully you could take a picture of them in the trash uh, and clean out your closet. But, and don't be ashamed, you guys. You saw what I did. 
We're growing together. You saw what I, I was rocking. Like, don't be ashamed. Uh, Instagram us your pictures to this hashtag right here. Don't be that guy that's like, I only own two pairs of shoes. This one, and then I got a pair of dress shoes at the house. Yeah. Diversify your, your, <laughs> your, your footwear. It's not gay to own a lot of shoes. Somebody has hey. to beat this. Just do it. Oh my god, <laughs> it's double-sided taped on there. And the soul is split. <laughs> <laughs> I also hike in those. That's our episode, folks. <laughs> my name's Candace Thompson. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Follow Candace, follow me, at Mal Hall. That said, you guys, rants, reviews, randomness. This was totally random. There we go, all done. All done. Nope, you That's need it. to- No more shoes to throw out. That's it, two pairs, the two of us, two pairs of shoes in the trash. Maybe just one of them? What, you're gonna just wear one of those shoes?